Due to a shortage of truckers, companies are investing heavily into driverless trucking. Autonomous driving integrates three key components, the vehicle base, sensing and I.O. hardware, and advanced software. Various sensors like LiDAR, radar, and camera scan roadways enhance detection accuracy and ensure motorist safety. Coming up, we'll explore three autonomous trucks reshaping our roads, but first, it's our premier product highlight sponsored by Mauser Electronics. The Schneider Electric TM238 LFD C24 DTS Zero is a PLC from the Modicon M238 series offering versatile control capabilities. With 14 digital inputs, including six regular and eight fast inputs, it enables efficient data acquisition. Equipped with 10 digital outputs, including four transistors and six relay outputs, it facilitates seamless operation. Additionally, its CAN Open Master Communication Protocol ensures compatibility with various industrial systems, making it an ideal choice for automation projects requiring reliable and flexible control solutions. For more information, visit mauser.com today. It's time to get educated. It's time for David's Corner. Safety is another one of those topics that's discussed a lot, but there's so many rules and regulations that it can be hard to understand exactly what you need. One of the most important topics is the topic of redundancy. For some safety categories and safety integration levels, redundancy is really important. What this means is that there must be multiple channels within each safety device to ensure that even if one of those contacts goes bad, there's still another one as a backup to make sure that they're both performing their job. Once those devices, both contact sets, are delivered into a safety relay or a safety PLC, both are checked continually to make sure that it maintains contact. On an emergency stop button, like this one, there's multiple sets of normally closed contacts. If we press the switch, it stays latched, opening those sets of contacts. So a circuit is broken instead of another circuit being made. Inside this solenoid activated gate device, with the cover removed, we can see the contact sets and these contact sets also provide redundancy, dual sets of contacts, to ensure that when that information is delivered to the safety relay or the safety controller, that both contacts remain engaged all the time. Safety is a really critical process in all industrial facilities. And it's not enough to just install the devices that we think are safe enough. We need to constantly be keeping track of our system to make sure that we're maintaining all of the safety categories that are required by regulations. Andy, back to you. Thank you, David. Three companies have boldly taken on autonomous trucking. First, there's Daimler's truck. Daimler has unveiled its autonomous Freightliner eCascadia, merging battery electric drive and autonomous technology for sustainable transport solutions. Equipped with Torx autonomous software, it aims for level four autonomy, offering flexibility and choice for future trucking needs. Next is Scania. Scania has collaborated with mining operations to develop autonomous packages for 40 and 50 metric ton tipper haulers targeting efficiency improvements in raw material transport. Rigorous testing in collaboration with mining R&D teams ensures suitability for harsh operating environments and heavy load demands. Then there's the Volvo VNL Autonomous. It features redundant systems for steering, braking, communication, and computation, ensuring reliability and safety. This purpose-built truck is poised to revolutionize freight capacity in the United States, paving the way for enhanced transportation capabilities and fostering economic growth. The world of control automation is constantly evolving. To discover what's out there, be sure to check out our other episodes of Automator's Edge, and we'll see you next time.